So how do we design a weld connection? Hey, my name is Isil Khan and you're watching an engineer boy. I think Asim Ali are suggesting this topic and according to his problem statement, we have some given data like the dead load which is acting is 110 kips. Kip is actually the unit upload you can say, okay, in uh, FPS system. And the live load which is acting is uh, 3080 kips. The uh, gusset plate thickness is 2 inches, which is just like that shown, okay. And electrode is 70, and the steel which is used is a 36, okay. Uh, this means all materials which are used in the uh, section are in the connection, okay. That, that is the weld connection is just a 36, okay. A36 is just the code you can say, okay, uh, which means the uh, tensile strength of the steel must be uh, 36 uh, ksi okay or kips per square inch another thing which is given is two section which is c10 times 30 uh, and this section must have the gross cross sectional area is 8.82 square inches and the uh, the web thickness equals 0.673 inches uh, these properties can be taken from the table okay this table uh, may be given from the uh, you can say industries and uh, these tables are also available in the books all right as you can see the given data is just enough to work out or design the weld connection so i'll come directly into the solution and in the solution we'll use uh, 5 by 16 inches uh, is the size of weld okay and this of course depends upon the welding position like for example you can take this video for the horizontal or overhead uh, like our case okay and 3 by 8 inches for the flat position and 1 or 2 inches for the vertical position okay so this depends upon the welding position so in this time we'll use weld 5 by 16 inches so when we have this guy, then of course we can determine the weld trot, which must be cos 45 times weld size. And cos 45, you can say 45 uh, cannot be all the time, okay. Uh, this may be different, uh, depends, okay. And this may be 35, 30, okay. But uh, 45 degree is a standard value, okay. So the weld trot must be cos 45, that is 0.707, I think. And times the weld size, that is already assumed are taken 5 by 16 so we can get of course the value equals 0.221 inches and after that i'm gonna calculate the strength or capacity of electrode which must be uh, the vector of uh, 0.3 times uh, the electrode which is of course 70 this time okay then of course we can get 21 ksi is the strength or capacity of electrode and when we have this guy, I mean the strength of electrode, then of course we can calculate the capacity of weld, okay? And that is per inches, not the total capacity, all right? And this must be the strength of electrode times the weld trot, which means Q equals the strength of electrode, that is 21 KSI times 0 0.221, which is the weld trot. And we can get, of course, Q equals 4.64 kips. And after that, we are so near to our approach, which is of course the length of weld, and that is the load per channel divided by the capacity of weld per inch, or you can say the strength of weld per inches. And let's do that, guy. Okay, the only thing we need here is the load per channel. Okay, the capacity has been already calculated. So the load may be, of course, the total load, which is 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 live load. And dead and live load are also given in the statement of the example. So the total load must be 1.2 dead load. The dead load is given. That is 110 kips plus 1.6 times 380, which is of course the dead load. So the total load must be 719.2 kips. But we need the load per channel. So it must be its half. So the load per channel must be the uh, total load divided by 2, which is of course 3059.6 kips, you can say. And further, we need to do some plug and check in the equation 1, like the length of weld, that is the load per channel, and of course that is known uh, 359.6. Okay, kips divided by the capacity of weld, which is 4.64 
and of course we can get the length of bed equals 78 inches okay that means we have to provide a 78 inches lengthy weld on the uh, channel section or you can say on this connection and that's it so what are going to be the results now okay as you can see we have two channels and the one gusset plate having uh, two inches as thickness okay so we'll use 10 inches at the end of the channel like that okay you can see it in the diagram okay uh, which is of course the front section you can say or the front elevation and uh, uh, 34 inches along each flange for the total of 78 inches long weight like that okay so uh, 34 plus 34 plus uh, 10 inches is going to be the total length of the weld and that is it okay but till this we are not done over here we have to check the gusset plate strength in order to check if the connection is okay or not so let's calculate the strength of gusset plate okay and that must be 0.4 times thickness of gusset plate times fy which is of course the strength of steel you can say okay uh, the steel which the gusset plate is made up all right so that must be of course uh, 0 0.4 times the thickness which is given already okay 2 inches times 36 because that is known all right so the strength of gusset plate must be 28.8 and which is greater value than the capacity of weld per inch all right so this means the design we have done is okay over here will provide 78 inches as the weld length that's okay all right so that's it this is how we design a gusset plate connection you can say with the channels or you can say a weld connection all right hey if you like these types videos please hit that subscribe button press the bell icon and never miss an update from engineer boy thank you dears for watching see you next time